to me is one of the first things we need to talk about writing the essay, um, which is very, very different from what I can tell from all the descriptions of writing Fulbrights and Marshalls. It's really a way for you to think about what is the project that you've been dreaming to do, and there are people who are willing to give you money to do it. So, um, and you have to convince them that they should do that. Um, I would say first piece of advice is to start writing it early um, and really get it revised a lot. Talk to Denise is a great resource for that. All your professors, I mean, I found that my professors were so behind me on this project, like they were more excited than I was. It was really fantastic. And they, and they all reread it and take all their advice and think about all the different aspects um, that you might include into your project to make it stronger. Um, I would say that for trying to find a project, I think that the best way to go is to go with something that you really personally, that's really personal to you as, as a topic and subject. I started doing photography here at Amherst and I knew that I wanted to apply for Watson to do photography. Um, it so happens my parents are from, immigrated from Russia, so I knew that I sort of wanted to go to the countries of the former Soviet Union and talk about, about, about the transition that was going on there. Um, but I also knew that one of the things that Watson stress, stresses is that you don't apply for a project of finding your roots. So that's mm -hmm. something that's really important to think about. So I actually very specifically design, designed in my proposal that I was not going to Russia, and I was going to other countries in the former Soviet Union. So I was able to sort of do what I wanted, but also address the issue that you really shouldn't be, and as I understood it, going to um, I'd say that there are a lot of, um, it's a very, very free form fellowship. You don't have a lot of support necessarily once you're there. You're not affiliated to the university. It's, very, it's a lot of freedom that you get, but it's also a lot of responsibility. And when you're writing your, um, your proposal, you really have to address all the kinds of problems, questions that they might have because you can be sure that they bring it up in, in, in your interview or anywhere, they're going to want you to pinpoint what it is that's weak in your, in your proposal, how you address mundane things like how you're going to make the amount of money that they've increased it recently, but stress, stretch for the amount of time for a whole year for 12 months that you're away. It's not actually all that much money depending on where you go. It's a set amount of money, so if you think about that too, if you're going to a very expensive country or a cheaper country and really think about working out your budget. It's very much, since you're not affiliated to the university, you really have to be, um, I guess, proactive and aware about all the different aspects of pitfalls. Um, so, what else can I say about the, pretty much it for the essay. Um, if you're, if you're, I was so thrilled, obviously, to get this um, opportunity, and um, I would say all. The most important thing is if you are one of the ones who needs to really plan very thoroughly um, where you're going to go, who you're going to talk to, who's going to get you in touch with the people that you need to get in touch with, and who will connect you with whom is very much, in my experience, it was very much word of mouth. I mean, I met people on the street, but I met people through other people that introduced me to other people, um, and I photographed people, so I had to, to get to know them. Um, so I would say that. Um, your comfort level that will be really challenged. Um, of course, that depends where you go, but in just be your cutoff really from everything, so you do have to be aware. You, you're not even allowed to go home during the week year that you're on Watson. So um, think about that. Think about how you can create a support network for yourself. Um, and a lot of the time, you just get used to being on your own a lot and um, being your own best friend. <laughs> It can, it can get sort of tough in a while when you're, I was in the middle of Uzbekistan on my birthday, and I realized that I was having dinner with two people that I had met just the day before, and it's pretty terrifying to be in the middle of a desert and not, and realize that you don't know anybody. You have no one around you you've known for like two or two hours. So that's something that happens all the time. Um, my particular project involved a lot of traveling. Um, not everyone travels as much as I did my project because of its nature did involve that, but think about that too in terms of how you want to organize your project. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't like to be 
traveling around all the time, backpacking all that, think about specific places that you'd like to go. You can spend longer amounts of time in one country or one city. In my case, it was I was moving around a lot. So, um, and the biggest piece of advice I give is to keep a journal because um, it's the lots of experiences. It might not work. It might not work. Yeah, it's not showing sure up. Yeah, it's. I use a map, so. Uh, is it not showing up? Yeah, there? it's not showing up. On there. in Uzbekistan or 